In this video, we will show how to replace two small capacitors and one IC. This repair kit gets installed on the TCON board. The symptoms that it can fix are if the TV has no video on the screen or if it loses video shortly after the TV is powered on. Remember, these symptoms are specific to this TCON board. Here's an image of the board and we will zoom in on the capacitors and the IC that we will be replacing. We will start by removing the IC on the board. As you can see below the board, I am using a preheater to warm up the components. This is allowing the components to be removed from the board a lot quicker than it would normally take without the preheater. I will put my hot air tool above the IC and slowly move it closer to the chip, warming it up and loosening it from the board. After I have it loosened, I can use my tweezers to pull the IC from the board. Next, I will use my solder wick and iron to clean up the pads on the board. Then, I will move over to the two capacitors we are replacing. I will begin by heating them with my hot air tool. Once they have each loosened, I will remove them from the board. After I have removed the excess solder, I will use my brush and some isopropyl alcohol to clean up the pads further. Next, I will put some solder paste on the pad for the IC. Then, I will place the IC on the board and get it lined up correctly. After I have it lined up, I will use my hot air tool to warm up the IC so the pad on the bottom of the IC can adhere to the pad on the board. You will see the IC settle into position once the solder paste has warmed and melted. We will still need to solder the four sides of the IC, but first I am going to replace the capacitors. Once again, I will use some solder paste on the pads where the capacitors go. Then I will place each capacitor into position and then apply heat using my hot air tool until they settle into place, securing them on the board. Now I will go back to the IC and solder the four sides to fully connect the IC to the board. I will start by using some flux paste on the side of the IC. Then using my hoof tip on my soldering iron, I will put some solder onto the tip and then run the tip along the pads to solder the IC to the board. You may need to run your iron over it multiple times to get everything soldered completely. Here is a photo showing one side that is soldered and another side that is not soldered. As you can see, we do not have any solder bridges between each solder point. Here we are soldering the two other sides of the IC using the same process.
After I have soldered the IC to the board, I will use my brush and isopropyl alcohol to clean up all of the components we just replaced. 